Oh, we're getting hot. Son of a gun. It's probably because we have too many holes in the wall. Alright, welcome back everybody to, uh, uh, what is this game, Icarus? <laughs> we are picking up right where we left off. Um, excuse me, the storm is just about done. Uh, it is nighttime as you can see, but we're working through the night because I don't have any way to make a shelter at this point. So uh, our plan is to go back down uh, into the canyon or down by this um, kind of lake or oasis or whatever here to the palm trees and cut a bunch of wood so we can build the shelter for the pyramid construction quest. And there's palm trees there. Uh, the palm trees will also, by the way, give us um, coconuts too that we can use. So, all right. Got to be wary because there's critters all over. I should have just come down here in the first place, but like I said, but... That had not occurred to me. So, there you go. So let's cut some trees. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get some wood here. <clears throat> and we will build... Uh, I, I don't know, if you look on the left-hand side, that's those are the objectives that I have. I don't know if they're going to want me to do more than that or if that's it. If that's it, then it's like, why in the hell is this a, a ten... Uh, or a seven-day... Quest. I mean, come on, really? <laughs> but maybe there is more to it. I don't know. Um, did we get any coconuts? Do, 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 do. Nope, not off that tree. Okay. Let's also pick up sticks and... Um, I don't think we can use our sickle on saguaros. So we're going to have to just, I guess... Oh, here we go. Here's some squash. Nice! Our first squash plant. That's the first time I have ever harvested a squash plant in this game. It's a milestone, people. Okay. So, yeah, let's just keep cutting wood here. And watching out for critters. There, we got a coconut. A couple coconuts. So... Young coconuts quench thirst, but won't do much for hunger. So they give you 10 water and 2 food. But if you wait, then they'll turn to uh, mature or medium coconuts or something like that. There's like three phases. And then they're... So you want to eat them during the medium phase if, you know, you're looking for food. Which we are because we don't... You know, we got our canteen, so we don't need to worry about water. Oh, we only get fiber for picking aloe plants. There's another squash. Huh. Alright, can we sickle them? Oh, yeah. Okay, sickling aloe plants gets you fiber. That is very good to know. Are there any nearby elephants? we got a warthog here that's going to want to mix it up. Okay, I think, I think we're good. And we're too heavy. Okay, so let's drop this. And we don't need the raw meat right at the moment. Uh, I guess we're going to have... We're like 0.3 kilograms over, so... Let's just drop a couple of stones. I'd like to keep some of these stones with me, of course. Uh, there's five kilograms right there. Okay. All right, let's head back to our thing. How, how is our canteen doing? Ah, it's doing fine. Um, I want these. I want these squash, man. We're going to be able to make some pretty decent food with this that we haven't been able to make up to this point because we could never find this stuff. They moved it to... Uh, alright, this is going to be a problem. Son of a bitch. Let's see if we can get a little further away from the elephant. Oh, two cougars. What's worse than one, right? Uh, 
And a hyena, too. Yeah, you might as well join in the party, sure. Damn. Okay, well, at least we got away from the elephant. Uh, what are we doing? We need some meat. Uh, you know what? We can't... We don't have capacity to, uh, harvest those guys. Can I turn my line off? Yeah, let's turn the line off and save our torch. Not that it's that big of a deal. Oh, shit. Uh, to make another one. All right, well, it's good to know we can use the sickle on aloe plants and get, you know, high quantities of fiber. Very good to know that. Don't get mad, elephant. I've left... <laughs> I've left corpses all over the desert, but I just, I can't harvest them, man. I don't have room for that stuff. All right, here's our, here's our stuff up here. Very good. So, are we still in the blue circle? Yeah, we are. I'm thinking maybe we build right up here, kind of against this cliff. Um, yeah. Let's do it. I mean, I wish I wish we could build down by the water, but you know we can't. Maybe we could build like a little. I mean, if this turns out to be longer than I than I'm wondering, <clears throat> uh, we might be able to build like a little staircase or ramp or something down to the water there. But uh, I don't know if building we have to build the rain thingy for the quest. But I don't know. Does it ever rain in the desert? I mean, I know it does in real life on occasion, but hmm. Um, the only other way to fill it that I know of is to to get ice, and yeah, I don't think there's any ice around here. Uh, there's the Matterhorn I was talking about. Isn't that cool looking? I love it. Okay, anyway, let's quit jabbering and get to work in here. So we need to <coughs> build stuff. Uh, okay, here's the ripe coconuts. Uh, eight food and eight water. It gives us 75 maximum health and reduces food consumption by 10%. The problem at the moment, though, is we already have all of our buffs, so we'll be, we won't get the buff if we eat it. So let's just hold off on that for the moment. All right, now I need to make some room, which I have none in there. What about in here? Nope, no room in here either. Uh, okay, let's put this up here, and we can put the building pieces there. All right, let's get to this. So we're going to start with the usual. Um, we could probably actually forego the pillars, maybe? We're probably going to... How many of these can I make? 23. Um, for this little hut, let's try if Let's just see if a 2x2 two two will do the trick. Um, and let's see if we can do it without pillars just to save resources. It's going to need to be in a pretty flat-ish location for that to actually work, though. We could... This seems pretty flat. Are we still in the blue circle? Yeah. We are. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's build it up here, then. Uh, it might want me to put pillars on those corners. We'll see if we have SI problems. Okay, so now uh, we're going to want eight walls. <clears throat> and what we'll do is we'll make this the door. And, yeah, uh, we're just going to make this super basic unless I find out we need to do more. And then if we need to do more, we'll, we'll make a little more substantial. Okay, so we need four more of those. Don't think we need to worry about snow falling on the roof. I wonder if the roof fills up with sand, though. Okay. 
Okay, so we got the shelter done. Uh, skinny bench, trophy bench, textiles bench, and rain reservoir. Really? You don't want a crafting bench? That's odd. Okay, so let's put our crafting bench down. Put my torch back on so you guys can see a little better. And let's put our bed roll down. <clears throat> we, we might end up actually, whoops, having to expand this backwards, which we can do. Set spawn point. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, let's run over here. I'm going to grab all of this stuff. And I guess we'll grab the campfire, too. I think what I'll do is I'll keep the camp... I'll put the fire pit outside. And maybe this, this guy, too. Because if we don't need to worry about rain, then probably the fire won't go out easily. Okay, this we can set down and utilize. We'll put it right here. And actually, let's put all of the ore in the anvil. Requires shelters because it's too close to the door. Well, here, let's just make a door. There. Okay. Um. <clears throat> mature coconut. So we looks like we lose some water, but get even more food. All right. Let's eat a coconut. And we get a buff for it, okay? And we'll eat some flatbread. Very nice. Okay, so we got that done. Now, um, let's just start loading more stuff into here for now. Um, I, I don't think I brought a... A, uh, what, whatchamacallit with me? A mortar and pestle. Okay, so let's grab the ingots and the nails and that. Oh, that's all we can carry at the moment. Okay. We'll put the leather and the ingots in there and the nails. And then I want to keep the wood with me because we have to make some more. Well, actually, maybe not. We'll see. We should make ourselves a mortar and pestle, though. It just depends upon how long we have to be here. Is that's the whole thing, you know? If it if I build all that stuff and it says we're done, then we're done. <laughs> there's no point in continuing, um, because there uh, you know there's going to be longer desert missions where we can sandbox and take you know time to smell the roses and stuff. All right, let's grab that too. We're just going to set this right here so it's next to the bed. And, uh, yeah, we'll just put all this stuff back in here. I don't really want to burn up the rest of my sticks, though. Since we have an abundance of wood down at the thing, um, we'll just burn wood in here. All right. Good. So we... Uh, have made that much progress. So let's take a look at what they want us to build. So they want us to build a skinning bench. What do we need to do the skinny bench? We need leather. And we put all that in here. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fit all this in here. We might have to expand the base back out to the back a little more. Okay, so skinny bench is done. Let's put it right in this corner here. 
Okay, got that done. What's next? Trophy bench. Okay, we have to learn the trophy bench. Why that's an absolute necessity, I don't know, but if that's what they want, that's what they want. Where do we learn that at? Trophy bench. That might be a tier two thing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to learn those things too. I just, you know, I got points to burn basically. Okay, there's the trophy bench. So what do we need to make that sucker? Trophy bench. Uh, 50 copper nails and 12 rope. Okay. So, uh, 50 copper nails shouldn't be a problem. Let's make those. And we got two iron ingots. So let's grab those out of here. And our 50 copper nails. All right. Uh, rope. So... We got 21 fiber in there. Do we have any fiber in here? All right, we're going to have to go out and get some more fiber then. Let's put that stuff in there for now. And we're going to have to go get some more wood too. Okay, fiber and wood. That's what we're doing. Let's do it. Uh, let me try this again. I don't think this works, but you know, you have to you have to harvest it by hand. Okay, so we need to be careful of predators around elephants. Let's go down to the water here. We'll cut some more wood, and hopefully we can find some more of those aloe plants to get a large quantity of fiber. Nasty elephants nearby? Okay. I guess that that's an interesting mechanic now that I think more about it because in the forest, you just can go around and kill animals left and right with no consequence unless it, you know, happens... Unless something just aggro's on you because they aggro on you, right? Like a bear or whatever. Here, you gotta be more careful because if you, you know, kill animals left and right, you're gonna piss off an elephant and he's gonna come after you. So, yeah, it's just an interesting situation. This is a beautiful lake down here. Be a nice. This would be a, a, a good build spot. Uh, okay, let's get some wood here. Okay, we're looking for aloe plants. Right there. 60 fiber from one aloe plant. Grab a couple more squash because we can. I don't know if we'll actually do anything with it. Guess we could just straight cook it up, right? We should do that, actually. Can we... Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, we can get uh, fiber from palm, palm bushes, too. All right, well, that's good. That's means fiber is actually not a big deal in the desert. Well, as long as you're <laughs> near palm fronds and aloe plants. Let's take a quick peek in here. Does this place have the nasty piranhas? It's a pretty deep lake. I mean, compared to most of the other lakes I've seen so far in this game. And it does have fish in it, which is good. Okay. <laughs> no elephants. All right, we just lost our meat buff. Let's replenish that. Oh, wait. We don't have it with us, do we? Okay. Um, berry buff. That's what we need. 
Oh, he must have just spawned in. <laughs> I'm thinking. All right, we have <clears throat> a decent amount of fiber. I'm thinking maybe we grab one more palm tree here. Scorch Traveler 1. Travel 10 kilometers total in the desert. Really, we've already traveled 10 kilometers on this character? Or I wonder if that's all all your characters. Probably all your characters. A shamal. Damn it. <clears throat> this is a pretty nasty storm. Um, and it's going to get hot. So we are going to need to... Uh, yeah, let's put all this in here. We're going to need to get a repair hammer going. Um, let's... Oh, I'll bet you it's going to put out the fire too because of the wind. Let's see if we can cook, cook some of this first so we can try it out. Uh, we'll put that meat in there too. Alright, let's make ourselves a repair hammer. We're going to need a little bit of stone and a little bit of wood. Crafting. Fiber and sticks. <clears throat> Hopefully our canteen will keep us <clears throat> keep us from getting dangerously hot. We'll see though. Yeah, this is this is kind of like um, the heat wave storm, and uh, not not something you want to be out out in for sure. You know what we could do is let's remove those three pieces. These don't have any heat uh, issues, uh, and that will also hopefully help a tiny bit. Okay, while we're waiting this out, let's make, um, say 40 rope, I guess. Turn our light back on so we can all see. Yeah, <clears throat> it damaged the building. Wow, there's going to be two red red waves here. That's not good. That looks nasty. Alright, we won't repair until it gets really bad just because there's no need to. It is going down pretty quickly though, isn't it? Let's make the trophy bench. Oh, these storms have lightning? Oh shit, we don't want this place to catch on fire because then we will overheat, not to mention that we don't want this place to catch on fire. Uh, we better get a whacker, fiber sticks and stones. Okay, the whacker's in four. Alright, the next red part's coming up. Uh, everything is still over half at the moment. Okay, let's put this down. Okay, we just got credit for that. Good. It's kind of cool. We're going to have to mess with that at some point. Uh, what is the next thing? A textiles bench. That is... We can do that right now. Let's do it.
It is very hot right now, but fortunately our canteen is keeping us from it from being a major problem. We just have to get through this red spot of the storm and then we should be okay. Finish your textiles, textiles bench. Um, <clears throat> what happened? Didn't I make that? Oh, require shelter. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that means it's time to repair. getting hot. Son of a gun. It's probably because we have too many holes in the wall. Come on, repair it. What the hell? It keeps stopping. Okay. Um, textiles bench, craft. Oh, there's already one queued up. I just, I guess it just paused because of the shelter thing. Interesting. I didn't know that's how it behaved, but now I do. All right, let's stick this guy over here. And a rain reservoir is the last thing we got to make. So to make that, we need a little more stone than we currently have. Let's eat this ripe coconut. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, a bit exciting. All right, let me re-repair all this. Okay, everything's good. Uh, let's go grab a little more stone here. Actually, <clears throat> excuse me, before we head out, I want a squash buff, and let's grab the meat. Oh, it's prioritizing the meat over the squash, I see. Okay, here, let's pull that back out then. What does that give us? 75 maximum stamina and 5 melee damage. Oh, nice. That gives melee damage. So carrots gives projectile damage. Squash gives melee damage. That's good to know. Uh, all right, let's do some berries for stamina. Oh, I should have actually done flatbread, but that's all right. Let's turn our music up a little more. We can't hear it very well. It's nice. I like it. That should be good enough. I don't think we needed a ton of stone. giblets off these dudes or dudettes as the case may be I'm not gonna check though all right let's make the rain thing rain reservoir Put that just right out here, I guess. We get credit. 
This wasn't an easy one, but you did it. That's it? Really? The assembly are going to appreciate this and pay well. Okay, well, <laughs> there you go, assembly. Uh, it's not the fanciest outpost, but, you know, it's an outpost, right? And I did everything they asked me to do, so I guess we're done. Wow. I mean, yeah, I I guess if I hadn't have taken the time to prepare in the forest like I did, it, this would have been a little more involved. So, okay, I get it. I get it. But uh, since we did, you know, take that time, it made it quite a bit easier. All right, let's put our armor back on, um, and I think we're ready to go. So we got a little bit of squash. We got flatbread. We got cooked meat for food. Um, and we got plenty of O2 and water to get back. So, yeah, let's head on home. All right, guys. Well, I will meet you back at the pod. So I'm uh, back at the spot where we broke through the cave. And I'm just curious to see if we can get back through it or if the blockage has reset. So this is where we came out. Uh, let's get our torch here. Uh, I think this is where we broke through, yeah. Was it? Yeah, we can get through here, you guys. Oh, man. I wished I would have known that before. It would have saved me from going around the long way, but... That's alright. The good thing about going around the long way is... The view coming into the desert for the first time was gorgeous. Okay, so cool. Once you once you uh, do the dry run expedition mission and open up this cave, then it stays open. Very cool. All right. Well, that was good to know. That was good to know. All right. I'll see you guys at the pod. And we got a level. Look at that. And we are back. Let's get the hell out of here. Return to station. Okay. There we go. Yeah, the, the more I think about it, had we not taken the time in the in the forest to do that pre-prep, this would have been more involved. So yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, select character. And we got 175 credits for that. Let's go to the workshop. Okay, what are we doing? We are wanting to work towards the bow, I think, is what we're working on, right? So, yeah, we're wanting to work towards this bow here and eventually towards this armor. Uh, so we can research this. And that's all we can do because we can't afford to make it. This has two module slots. 5% perceived... Uh, threat, or minus 5% perceived threat while stealth. Very cool. All right, you guys. Uh, we're going to wrap up this episode. We'll start up the next episode uh, and decide at that point which mission we're going to do next. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.